I hope you're doing well out there in this crazy world right now. Hopefully I can bring you some great content and information that can make a difference in your life and uh, help you go out there and navigate the wholesaling world. So if you are an investor and you wanna get involved in real estate, and you wanna do wholesaling, or you don't know what wholesaling is, or you wanna flip some houses, then you are in the right place. We're gonna actually case study four individuals. We're gonna show you how they um, uh, basically were able to replace their incomes, were able to quit their jobs, were able to go full time. So uh, we're actually gonna, we're gonna discover how these four middle class disgruntled employees broke the shackles of their job and tripled their uh, incomes. And uh, oh, I gotta get my, uh, my battery real quick. So looks like I am forgetting something uh, here. So I'm gonna plug in the battery. Otherwise we are going to uh, be dead. So, my fault. Anyways, we are going to show you the case studies on how these uh, guys quit their nine to five following the escape plan um, and what did they do and how did they do it. So we've got Alex, um, was a business person and uh, he's actually an entrepreneur and a business person. Um, we've got, uh, there we go. We've got uh, Christian. Christian was actually a fireman um, and we uh, tell a story how he got out of being a fireman and now is a full-time wholesaler. Monica, her great story, stay-at-home mom, her and her husband don't, doing great. And then Tyler, we call the bug guy. Um, actually, Tyler uh, was making $50,000 a year going around selling uh, bug services where they do extermination, which is, uh, which is amazing. Um, so you're going to meet Alex. Alex, full-time business owner. Um, he and he uh, required a significant amount of cash to run his business with small margins. He found that he was working seven days a week, never had time to take with family to get vacation, uh, felt like he was trading his job for his business and uh, working more hours like crazy. Christian was actually a full-time fireman. Uh, Christian had some uh, time uh, for a side hustle around what he was doing. He attempted many different business and opportunities and different things, never found something he could he actually fell in love with until he discovered the escape plan now makes more in a month than he did in a year, I think like times three. So he replaced his $43,000 salary. Um, and then we have Monica. Monica used free marketing strategies to spread the word about her new real estate business and made $35,549.95 on her very first real estate deal. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe what happened after that first deal and what she scaled to is amazing. And same with Tyler. Tyler was a full-time pest control salesman making about $50,000 a year and he wanted out. Uh, he tripped across my book on Amazon and now flips over 60 plus houses a year. Um, the guy makes a small fortune, literally bought a brand new house, bought a brand new car. Um, he's got his family, he's uh, doing an incredible, got an incredible thing. So stay on the end. We're actually gonna give you a tool, a couple tools actually, that you must have to do the uh, real estate investing business, something you must have to do. Now, when I first got started, I had a complete dead end job um, and something that sucked. So maybe, you know, I was speaking at an event earlier this afternoon, um, kind of telling the story of my job and uh, my job actually, it, it sucked. It, <laughs> um, it, it seemed like, you know, I, I, I worked a job, I was 33 years old and it was a pool and landscaping company. So, um, and this was like before I had like a bartending job, you know, I was, I was taking some classes in school and then, you know, I got out, then I had went to this other, you know, thing, you know, for a while. So I didn't, I was like 33 and hadn't found my career yet. Um, and I was working for a pool company and a landscape company and I would drive to people's houses and I would uh, meet them and they tell me about their pool and their landscaping and I would have to go, uh, design their pool and landscaping. I'd have to either draw it out, and I actually taught myself AutoCAD, um, and I'd do an AutoCAD drawing and put some plants in there. Then I'd have to bid it out, you know, each individual thing, and give them a bid, um, and then sell them on doing business, the whole package with us. So uh, it sucked. It was like a dead end job. It's something I didn't want to do. Um, and uh, I had this boss that was a, a complete jerk at the time. He'd always 
you know, I bring back a bid. I thought I had, you know, a certain amount of margin in it, and he would always find a way to uh, just to basically. Um, I made it like I forgot stuff so he could pay me less on the deals. I didn't have control of it. Um, and I would, you know, have, I'd go from job to job and I'd make, I'd just get by, just make it a little bit of money. Uh, and I, I was 33. I had a brand new daughter and I'm, I, and I'm married and I'm like, I'm struggling. And it seemed like, seemed like, um, seemed like there was like chaos things, meaning, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I get a flat tire. Right. And, you know, and now I'd have to go change tires or and I have to go get another tire for the car. And it was 250 bucks. And that was an issue um, or some other thing happened. Some chaos thing happened um, and I always cost money and I always didn't have it. I always had to stress out about it and try to find it and do this and do that. And it was a struggle. And I was just scraping by living month to month. And I literally I found myself where I couldn't wait till Fridays. I was, um, you know, at the time, 33, I was. I had no freedom, you know. I was I was overweight. I wasn't working out. Um, I wasn't connected to God at all. Anything spiritual. I didn't have any morning ritual. Um, I was drinking too much, you know. And I just got in this rut. And I was 33. In 33, you're supposed to be like at the prime of your career. You're supposed to be doing well. You're supposed to. All my other friends were kind of starting to get established. They had maybe you know five to seven years of uh, business experience, and they had their you know four hundred one ks, and they had their job, and they're making four at fifty, sixty thousand a year. And I'm still struggling, kind of month to month, with bald tires on my cars, and you know my insurance would lapse here, and you know that it, it is a big mess. Um, and I was like stuck in this job, so. What happened was one Saturday afternoon, I was driving down the freeway, going to an appointment. Um, it's actually in Litchfield Park, Arizona. There's a, there's a freeway called uh, the 101 Freeway. And uh, I was driving down there. I was flipping through the radio stations. I was looking for something um, to, you know, something to listen to. There was nothing in May of 2003. This is May of 2003, almost 18 years ago. Um, there was nothing really to listen to uh, um, in, at that time because, uh, you know, there was no sports on. So I was listening to financial news radio and I was flipping through the stations and I heard this guy and he started talking about um, real estate and he started talking about doing deals. Now, I was intrigued by real estate way back when, when I was a Marine. I bought a book from Robert Allen called Nothing Down Real Estate and I read it. Why I was in the Marine Corps, actually, I went over to, um, to uh, the Gulf War over in Desert Storm. I got on ship and I happened to get this book and I read it while I was on ship. So I had this intrigue about real estate, but, you know, I really, I didn't do a lot with real estate at the time and I wanted to do it, but, you know, so he's talking about it. And here's the interesting thing is, you know how you have a preconceived notion? You have uh, some idea in your head that you believe is true, but you don't really know, but you're kind of stuck on it. So I had the belief that for you to make money in real estate, you had to have cash and you had to have credit, meaning you had to have cash to buy a house for a down payment and you had to have credit so you could uh, qualify for a loan um, and you had to qualify. And then that's how you could make money. You had to buy a house, you had to qualify for a loan, then you could fix it up. You know, obviously you need cash for that. And then you could turn around, sell it, and you can make a profit. You could flip the house. Or you could buy it and you hold on to it and you rent the house and you get long-term appreciation. So there wasn't, you know, any, you know, uh, you needed, there was a big barrier of entry. You had to have cash or someone invest in you. And I was definitely not savvy, savvy enough to do that, even to figure out what a deal was. So when I was driving down the freeway, the way, this guy was talking about how you could flip houses without any cash and without any credit. Now, that was different from what, what I thought. So immediately I was like, oh my gosh, this is, can't be true. It's a scam. You can't do that. You can't flip houses with no cash and no credit. You can't do that. That's a joke. Who's going to listen to that? Right. And see, I'm from New England originally and my uh, I grew up with a father who is, quote unquote, the devil's advocate. And uh, I obviously took on those traits and, you know, I, I, I could find the wrong in anything and kind of look at the other side of the story. If something was all, you know, you know, good and I could find the other side of it, <laughs> similar to my dad did. Right. And uh, so I'm sitting there thinking in, to, to myself and was like, what a scam. Who's going to listen to this? You can't make money without real estate. What idiot is going to listen to this? So driving down the freeway, I thought I knew what I knew. 
Now remember, I was broke, I was living month to month. What was I thinking, right? My opinions got me broke. My thoughts got me broke. My ideas got me broke. But you know what? I thought I knew what I knew. What a moron I was, right? So uh, what happened was is, you know, I flipped the channel. And I was uh, listening to radio and I was listening to the guy that flipped the channel. I was like, this is a scam. Joke. And I turned around. I kept on driving down the freeway. About, you know, a couple minutes later, I had, you know, a, you know gut intuition. I don't know, something, or something happened. And I turned the channel back, and today I know it was God's intervention. Um, he tapped me on the shoulder, slapped me across the head, whatever it might be. But I turned the channel back, and I was intrigued enough to, con, you know, to, to, to listen and con, you know, continue to listen to uh, what this guy had to say. And he had actually people on there that were making $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 a month. And I was like, holy cow, that, that's a, how can you make $20,000 a month? How can you actually do that? That's impossible. I didn't even make $20,000 a year. How could you make $20,000 a month? That is too good to be true. I've seen it before. I, how is that possible? I didn't believe it. So, and then what he did is he explained what's called a unique and profitable concept, the unique and profitable concept. So what the heck is this unique and profitable concept? And I got a little props here <laughs> for you to kind of explain what this, uh, basically what this unique and profitable concept is. Um, but basically what happened was, is that you have two contracts. Now here's the interesting thing about this unique and profitable concept this guy was talking about is that when you have a real estate contract, a seller can only sign a contract with one person. Okay, let's say it's you. And you sign a contract, and on this contract, there's the address and there's the price. You have a price. Now, what's the cool thing about real estate, which is different from you know, pretty much you know, a lot of different, especially the stock market, is that if a stock is trading at you know, Tesla, $571, and you can't buy it for three hundred dollars. Um, you can't do it. You can't. You can't buy it for half the value uh, of the stock. You can't do it. But in real estate, you can. Um, I see a distressed person can't go. Oh, I'll just sell you my shares for three hundred dollars. I can't do it. Um, but what happens is in real estate, if you have a hundred thousand dollar house, and a seller's distressed and they just want to sell their house and they just want to get rid of it and they're sick of it. You know, and they inherited it. It's a fire damage property. A, a tenant trashed it. You know, it's a, they're a landlord. They, you know, whatever that happened, they're in foreclosure. Whatever situation, um, and they in the house, you can sign a contract for fifty thousand. And on this contract, it's the price fifty thousand. And also, on this contract is a closing date, typically thirty days. And also on here, you have an inspection period that's typically thirty days as well. So now you have a contract, right? Now, this contract is so important because it gives you equitable interest in the property. Now, it's something important. It means that you now have something you can sell. Now, you have the right to sell this property. I mean, this actual paper, you get to sell the paper. It's called an assignment agreement, which is this meaning you have the right to sell this contract. So who would buy a contract from you, you know, for say $60,000? Well, if the house is 100 and you got a contract for 50, there are ample ready, especially in this market. We got historic low, historically low inventory numbers. They're not going to pay you 60, they're going to pay you 80. So you got it for 50, and you're gonna sell it for 80, guess what? You know, that's a $30,000 assignment fee. Um, and I can tell you right now, we're, we're doing assignments fees for 30, 40, 50, $100,000 assignment fees because there's such a lack of inventory and now's the time to get involved in real estate. So if you're watching this right now, now's the time. But you can assign or sell your contract 
for a fee for above that price. Now, now what happens is the buyer's gonna take the right and he's gonna close on that. He's gonna bring in the money. He's gonna bring in the cash. He's gonna handle the whole deal, but you're done. You're gonna get your assignment fee and that's it. You sold your contract. Now, I've never heard of that concept before. It was brand new to me. And you know what the amazing thing is? Is that average people, average people can do this. And he had people on there that were making 5,000, 10,000, even $20,000 checks. And they were doing it with no cash, no funding, no credit check, they had no experience. Um, and it was amazing. So here's the thing though. I was skeptical, right? And I told you I turned the station. I thought you had to have cash or credit, God's intervention. I turned the channel back and he explained the unique concept. So imagine you getting a $10,000 check by selling your contract. Wouldn't that be amazing? So for me, it's a, it, it was, for me, it was a new idea. It was a new concept, but it's not new. It's been around for years and years and years and years. Um, but here's the issue, right? As soon as you get excited about something and you want to learn about something, you go, hey, I want to do wholesaling. This is amazing. That's what it's called. Um, you're wondering, holy cow, you know, I, I want to do this. But now there becomes a lot of moving parts. Now, think about it right here. It's like, what do I do? And, you know, do I, how do I find sellers? Do I do it with bandit signs? How do I fill out the contracts? How do I negotiate? How do I market for sellers? What's an REO? How do I open escrow? What's a short sale? Earnest money deposit, funding buyers. How do I do it? Do I need websites? Is it a lease option? Do I need coaching? Is there an email list or software? So what happens is you, you, you hear the concept, you want to do it, and now you say, okay, listen, but then all these questions come up because there's a lot of moving parts in the business, right? So now we go search for answers. How do we figure out all these things? Well, do we read books? That's what I did. YouTube, we go to REI clubs. I went to a couple of REI clubs and I sat in a room of a thousand people. I'm thinking, how the heck can I get a deal? There's a thousand people here. We go to, uh, we go to real estate forums. We go to, uh, we get eBooks. We go on Amazon. We go home study courses. We go to seminars, local investors. I was just a, se uh, a seminar this morning. I was one of the guest speakers there. They, you know, there's a bunch of people in the room and guess what? There is a person after person after person. And they were talking about different business models, different ideas. What do you do? What works? You know, how do you get your information? So as soon as you get excited about something, you go, yes, I want to do this wholesaling thing. I want to get started. And this might be you. You might go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. And then you start diving in and start researching. You haven't really done anything yet. Now... You start thinking to yourself, this is what I did. This is what happened to me. Fear started stretching, you know? I was like, ooh, what if I screw up, right? What if I sign a contract, right, with a seller, but I can't sell it? You know, what if I, 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 I have to buy the property? I didn't have any cash, I was broke. You know, what if I say something wrong? What if I get sued, because you're signing legal documents? Um, what do all the acronyms mean? Uh, what if I have no one to help me out? You know, what if... Uh, Someone wants to check my credit, right? That sucked, 580 credit score at the time when I did this. Um, how do I do this if I'm broke and have zero money? How do I specifically write the contracts? I'm scared and I didn't know what to do. What if I don't have any buyers? What if I have no time to make this work? What if I never find a deal? How do I know what an actual a good deal is? What if I'm just plain scared? of the whole process. So I laid in bed and guess what happened? I laid in bed and I'm sitting there and I'm lost with no real direction. I didn't have any money. I had a 580. Whoa. What happened? Oops. Huh? Is this? Uh oh, computer died.
All right, we had a crisis there. Computer literally just froze, shut down, rebooted, and now we're back online. Holy cow. So where was I? I apologize. Um, I felt lost with no real direction. I was laying in bed going, what the heck am I going to do? I didn't know what to do, and uh, I didn't have any money. I had a 580 credit score, never bought a house before, was not confident in myself, and I was scared to death to sign a contract with no buyers. So I heard the concept. I was excited. I actually bought the guy's course, but what happened was I was a mess. In 2003, I invested in a system from the guy from the radio. And guess what? I got in the mail. This was 2003. I got in the mail uh, a box of stuff. And you know what was in it? VCR tapes. Do you remember what those are? VCR tapes. You probably don't know what VCR tapes are. But they were VCR tapes. And I took the VCR tapes. I put them in uh, the VCR machine. And uh, this dude from Texas was sitting in front of this easel and he was explaining this business with these contracts and uh, he filmed the info in 1992. It was 2003 and he filmed it in 1992. He had this big gigantic, you know, like a uh, five gallon hat on, like a cowboy hat on. He had these uh, bell bottoms and had a plaid shirt on. And he's talking like this, like I'm, all you gotta do is knock on pre foreclosure doors, right? And that's what he was talking about. So I invested and, and, and that's how I got started. I learned his system to go knock on pre-foreclosure doors. So what happens now? I mean, I've been doing this now for the past 18 years. Well, thank God I invested in that system. The first year, the first year I made $153,000 out of the gate. And for me, that was a massive, massive game changer. Literally starting for something from scratch, struggling through it. It took me three weeks to get my first deal. My second deal, I screwed up everything and made about $2,000. Then for about two and a half, three months, I didn't get another deal. I was stuck. I was, I was doing everything I thought I should do and I didn't, I was so frustrated. I was like, why can't I get a deal? I'm hustling, I'm working hard and I couldn't get a deal. Finally, I got that third deal right? Uh, a couple months later after my second deal and I made $36,000 that pretty much changed everything for me. I actually had money. I reinvested back into marketing and it, uh, and it kind of took off from there. So today um, I'm a God loving man, uh, a family of two beautiful daughters, happily married now for the past 23 years. I've been flipping houses now um, over 17, actually 18 years, transact over $300 million in deals, currently flipping 25 deals a month in uh, and uh, actually nationally across the entire country. Um, we got deals in every city from San Francisco to Maine. Uh, we got a deal with closing in Maine. We got a deal with closing in Florida. Uh, we got deals we closed in Louisiana, got deals in Texas, got deals in Vegas, Arizona, all across the country. So um, I also started a podcast and I have about 12 million listeners on 196 different countries. Um, creator of the Flip to Freedom Academy, which is a has nine best-selling courses, over 20,000 members, owns 760 multi-family units, and live in Phoenix. And I just sold my Dana Point house because the market's on fire right now, and California is getting a little cray cray. So I decided to uh, decide to do that. So this was all done with no cash, no credit pulled. I didn't have an experience when I started. No contractors needed. No huge time commitment. No earnest money. New proof of funds. Um, and no funding, no borrowing money from family, no bank loans, no difficult paperwork, no real estate license, no degree needed, no brick and mortar office, no equity deal. And here's an example deal um, of deals we're closing. So this one's in Santa Maria, California. Um, seller was divesting, selling their properties. We contracted for 350, sold for 370 after uh, uh, fees and closing costs and stuff or whatever. Um, we closed it and made $19,150 on one deal. Now, there are some people that are watching right this right now that don't even make $19,150 a year. So imagine making that on one deal. Now, how long does it take you to do a deal? It could take you a month, it could take you six months. Well, you know, what if you did one deal a year just one deal one deal just like this a year just one one deal a year that's an extra nineteen thousand one hundred and fifty dollar as a bonus as a raise as additional you know income right boom what if you did two now we're talking forty thousand forty thousand dollars a year boom forty thousand dollars a year right what if you did ten 
Now you're talking, right? 200,000 for 10 deals. You think you can do 10 deals? That's $200,000 a year, $200,000 a year. So here's another example deal. This is in Phoenix, Arizona on Coronado Street and Coronado Road in Phoenix. Seller was moving, house was mess, trash. The guy lived in there forever. We actually went over and helped him move out of the house. He got a big uh, pod, put it in front. My team went over there and we actually helped the guy move the stuff out. Man, holy cow, that guy had a lot of dust. Uh, we contracted for 116, sold it for 144, double escrowed it for 26 thousand twenty eight dollar profit um my two page contract that's what you get at the end so you're going to get these two contracts right here you're going to get these contracts um you're going to get the assignment agreement and the contracts will stay on till the end right here um we're about to get through it so important disclaimer um all incomes here are real and verified however the incomes depicted represent some of the most successful participants and the majority of individuals earn less. Why? Because they don't do anything. These figures should not be considered guarantees or projection of your actual earnings or profit. It is understood that your success is predicated based upon your effort, which requires hard work, desire, and diligence. So I want to show you some success stories of some other people. And again, this is no guarantee of your income. These are what other people have done when they followed the course. But Joseph here um, is an incredible guy. I met him personally. Uh, very quiet and reserved, him and his wife. Um, he wants to thank Sean again for all his life-changing info, getting close to $100,000 a month. Here's Tyler White's another paycheck right here. Today's paycheck is equal to two years income from my previous job. And to think the last two years ago, I was still saving, slaving for those wages. Flip to freedom. You'll learn more about him. He's one of our case studies, Tyler. Um, so you're going to discover how each one of these do it. So let's get into Monica right here. Monica, uh, her main mission uh, was to supplement her income. That's what she wanted to do. She wanted something she could do on a part-time basis. She wanted something that worked. Um, she never did anything in real estate before. She didn't know the, the, anything about the concept. So what she did is she implemented phase one of the escape plan, phase one. So what is phase one? First phase one is getting your first $10,000 check. That's phase one. That's the first phase of getting started, phase one. So it's all about getting your first check. So uh, Monica, she didn't have a lot of time. She wanted to do real estate, but had no money to invest, lived in a competitive market. She didn't want to get a get rich quick scheme. She just wanted to make some extra money. Um, she, uh, she had no excess money for marketing. Uh, tried these things before and they didn't work, um, had no experience, uh, wasn't into the hype, just wanted a real business um, and looking for a system to follow. She wanted something proven. She wanted something that worked that she could just actually step into and learn. So what we did is part of phase one is learning how to locate distressed properties, right? And we talk about with omni-channel marketing and what we did was we taught her how to uh, understand the numbers. And if you understand the numbers, it kind of takes away uh, the stress of the business because um, for every 25 leads, you get a deal. And the more leads you get, the more revenue you can generate. So now, what, what is great about numbers? Let me, let me explain that real quick to you, um, which is important and why numbers are important. Because um, if you focus on the numbers, it has nothing to do with your talent. Um, if you focus on the numbers, you know, you're not going to have any doubt because if you, if, if you follow the numbers, you'll get the results. If you don't follow the numbers, you don't get the results. Um, so what's the, what's the numbers? For every 25 leads you get, you get a deal. Now, here's the thing. We actually had a, a, a guy, um, part of our uh, Flip to Freedom Academy, and we were on a coaching call. Um, and he comes on and goes, oh my gosh. I haven't got a deal yet, the numbers don't work. And I go, great, how many leads did you get? And he goes, well, so far I've got 48 leads that came in, I made offers on them, and I didn't get any deals. I was like, okay. I said, keep going, the numbers will play out as the more leads you get, just keep going. And he went and do it, and then guess what? The next two leads that came in, both of them turned into contracts, he got those contracts, he and, uh, closed on them and they turned into revenue. So it's weird how the numbers work, but people don't freak out. Go, oh my gosh, I got 25, it doesn't work. It's the way the numbers play out. He got 48, didn't happen all of a sudden next two.
he turns around and gets contracts. So here's the thing what's great about the numbers. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter your talent level. It doesn't matter your education level. Guess what? I just have a high school education. I joined the Marine Corps and I was 18. I'm not the smartest guy. I don't have a business degree or anything like that. I'm just a dude who uh, who got out of the Marine Corps, you know, was struggling from job to job, found myself at 33 looking for something to do, and I tripped across this, and I was like, wow. So once I understood numbers, and, I, and, it, and it wasn't a talent, it wasn't a degree, it wasn't a background, it wasn't that, then it became the harder I work, the more success that I could have. And what is the work? The work is generating leads, making offers to sellers, and the more offers you make, the more contracts you get. So it's a numbers game, right? Now, the cool thing is we have what's called an REI automator. Um, and an REI automator is uh, the ability to be able to pull leads out of a system, which is really cool. So we can pull, we can go into um, actually REI automator here. Um, and Christian, come on me, but I, I'll do, uh, let me go find my app right here. Let me go here. And I'm going to go to REI Automator. Just show you what it looks like. If I can pull it up right here. So it's pretty cool because what REI Automator does, it's like an all-in-one, it's a mar all-in-one like marketing suite. It's not a, it's not a, customer relationship management tool, like a CRM. Um, but what it does, it is a, uh, a tool um, to allow you to pull leads, send mail, direct mail, do some stuff, uh, skip trace in there, and uh, which is amazing. So I'm gonna show you a really good list uh, that you can target when it comes to uh, direct mail um, as this. And it's uh, something that just came out on REI Automator. And it works great, especially in uh, markets like Phoenix or Vegas or whatever, but also works incredible in smaller markets. So let's go on the screen here and take a look, right? I'm gonna put in here, um, let's put in, let's, for an example, let's put like Augusta, Georgia. Um, we're looking in there. So uh, we got a little area over here, Augusta. So I can go down here and in the search field, they have all these different types of uh, distress. We have vacant properties pre-foreclosure property, bank owned, cash buyers, high equity, free and clear, bankruptcy, divorce, tax delinquencies, flippers, uh, we got failed listings, senior owners, vacant land, we got tired landlords. That's a really good one right now. That's because there's a lot of landlords right now where are not, they're not getting rent and they're motivated. Zombie properties, right? Those are uh, foreclosures that are vacant. Now we got pre-probate properties, deceased owners. This is a really, really good list right here. So if I go in here, there's a thousand of these properties. This is pre-probate. This is someone that has passed away and now they have real estate. So we can go in property characteristics and we're gonna go property type. And we say we want single family, condo, multifamily, two to four. And what if we say, okay, listen, we wanna pare down this list a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. We wanna make sure that they're not on the MLS, right? And we want to go down here. We want to make sure there's at least 50% or more equity. And we're going to do that. Now, look at that. We have about a 900. This list is gold. In Augusta, Georgia, you will pull contracts and deals. So if you send out a mail piece like this one right here, this is what's called the Street View Postcard. And if you send out this mail piece right here, you'll get an unbelievable response from those sellers, from those people that are interested to sell their property. And they'll call you up and you say, hey, what would you like to sell your property for? And then you can make an offer to a seller. You get some incredible uh, return rates. Now, you can use something like Google Voice. You can make phone calls out of there. Um, we also actually have a system called Freedom Logic. Uh, you can make calls out of there as well. And free methods are for sale by owner. Um, here's our for sale by owner site. And what happened was um, uh, Monica with free methods in the omni-channel marketing we talked about, she was able to turn around and get deals. So what Monica learned, she learned the exact websites to target, what exactly to say with a script to a seller, how to determine motivation, how to determine the value of a property quickly, how to schedule an appointment and what to bring, talk to a seller, you whether it be over the phone or in person, how to negotiate with a seller to get the best price, how to write a contract correctly, how to open up escrow and what to say, and how to find highly responsive cash buyers and how to get paid fast. So what she did was she learned how to get properties under contract. 
She got a property under contract, and then she found the buyer for the contract. She had a double escrow or an assignment, and uh, she made $35,549.95 on her first deal. And what you said, he said, finally someone who covers the details and is actually doing the business in what he teaches. There's a lot of educators out there that all they'll do is talk about the overall bigger picture, not the details. Um, I go through the exact facts and the details and everything you need to know. So Monica is now working on phase two of her business, which we're gonna get into, uh, saving one year's worth of income and going full time. So here's Monica's first deal. Just wanna say thank you, a huge shout out to Sean Terry, 35,000. $549 deal. So check out this video from Monica. This is Monica Williams here in Dallas, Texas. I purchased your course around the first of the year, um, was looking for a way to supplement uh, my income and uh, purchased the course and shortly thereafter started going through all of the modules um, and all of the training. We put the word out um, to family and friends that we were purchasing properties. We sent out text messages. Um, we put out Facebook messages, we did the bandit signs, and we also have the car magnets. Shortly thereafter, we received a um, call from a friend who had a family member that was in a distressed situation. We went over and we met with them. Uh, it was two sisters. We met with them. We, um, you know, took everything to the title company, found a buyer pretty fast once the title was cleared. And so the buyer offered us uh, $52,000 for the property and we accepted. And so uh, we closed on it on August 10th and we made uh, $35,000 on this deal. I would say to anyone who is looking to um, or contemplating purchasing your course, they need to do it. They need to do it right away. Don't waste any time. It is for real. All right, so uh, unbelievable story from Monica. Super, super cool. Love to hear her story and what she's done and how she's accomplished what she's accomplished. She actually came to one of our live events called Extreme Freedom. Uh, we do that every year, and uh, we were in the room. She came up, gave me a big hug, and, man, she was uh, having, having some incredible success and still is, and she's doing amazing. So let's talk about Christian now. Christian is phase two. Uh, of the business. He was able to replace his $43,000 income. He was able to get one year's worth of income in the bank, which is phase two. Uh, Christian's a full-time fireman. Christian had some uh, time to look for a side hustle. Um, he attempted many different business and opportunities, but could never find something he fell in love with until he discovered the escape plan. Now, phase two is essentially accumulating one year's worth of income. So now you've got your first check and now you want to rinse and repeat. Your goal is now to, uh, to get one year's worth of income. And why do you do that? You, you don't want to quit your job until you get one year's worth of income because uh, you're going to quit your job and now you're going to go, oh, and now there's a ton of stress to be able to generate revenue like I did. So I went out, I got my first check of $11,008 and I quit my job and that was a big mistake because now I was stressed. Guess what? Then I made my second check of $2,000 and then I went for several months, almost two to three months, and I didn't get another check and I was freaking out. Every time I met with a seller, I was like, I gotta, you gotta sell me your house, right? And there's a different energy. It's like dogs smell fear, sellers smell desperation. So the goal is to get uh, accumulate one year's worth of income, phase two. Um, and when you're able to do that, this is what Christian did. We're gonna show you exactly what he did to be able to do that. He wanted uh, he wanted to make some real money. He was working as a fireman, making 43,000 a year, um, and he got sick of it. So he wanted to follow a system. He was looking for, uh, to replace his income, um, and he started part-time, and he worked around his job, and as he got deals, he was able to build relationships. He was able to feel confident about the business. He started to create momentum, and then he had the ability, once he got one year's worth of income, to quit his job. So here's the actual escape plan worksheet. So you have your income divided by your deal size equals the deals needed times 25 equals leads needed. Total leads needed divided by leads per month equals months till freedom. So if we're gonna fill this in and we're gonna do it say for uh, Christian, he went through the process and he said, okay, I, I wanna replace my income. So I want 43,000 a year, right? And, uh, and if I'm gonna divide that, let's say by seven deals is $6,500 a deal 
equals times 25 is 175 leads needed, 175 times divided by 20 uh, leads per month. That's what he wanted to generate. He thought he could do around working his job. Well, guess what? He has 8.5 months to freedom for him to escape his job. So if he put his head down and he was able to get seven deals in a matter of uh, eight and a half months, he could quit his job, go full time, have $43,000 in the bank, uh, and go out there and crush it. So if you reinvest back into marketing, you're, uh, you can grow exponentially. So what he did in part of phase two is reinvesting back in the marketing. So he took 15% back in from his check and he put it back into marketing. And what happens is it grows exponentially. Let's say first month you reinvest 6,500 on a $4,500 check. Then you make 12,000, you reinvest 1,800. Then you make 14,000, reinvest 2,100. Then you make 21,000, reinvest 3150. And what happens is your marketing budget gets bigger and guess what? More leads you get, more revenue you get, and that's how it works. So how Christian found buyers. Let me show you this real quick. Christian went in and found buyers going into PropStream, or I mean into uh, REI Automator, and going in here and he found flippers. And flippers are real estate agents who represent cash buyers that bought a property, fixed it up, and sold that property. Those are, these are most uh, active cash buyers in a neighborhood. So what did he do? He got a property under contract, and he turned around, he found a contract with a buyer, he did a, an assignment or a double escrow, and he got paid. So now imagine being like Christian, $20,000 his first month, over $100,000 a month he's doing now. So here's him and his family. Uh, incredible. He's done amazing things um, and uh, he's out there crushing it. So check out this video from Christian. I'm Christian Marin. I just want to tell you guys a little bit about my story with Sean. I was a firefighter here in the Orlando area back in 2008 when the financial crash happened. I needed to find a way to make money. I stumbled onto real estate. I had questions and I didn't know who to ask. So <clears throat> Just by connecting with people and talking to different people, I realized I heard and everybody kept saying Sean Terry was the best. So I joined, went through it, learned how to get my first check. I did that, sent out a direct mailers, you know, and somebody called me and it worked. I, I made 20000 on my first deal and uh, I learned how to run, run my numbers, how to read what marketing return I was getting I it, it helped me really grow my team to what it is now I have uh, five people <clears throat> uh, two acquisitions people and three sales people and we're doing great out here in Orlando <laughs> there's an abundance of money out here and there's no reason why we all can't be making money so good luck everybody all right what a great Video from Christian, uh, what an amazing story, and uh, I'm so proud of him. He's out there absolutely cranking it, which is cool. So, let's meet Tyler now. We got Tyler, who is now in phase three, or he's well beyond phase three, but in this section right now, he's in phase three. Uh, he made less than $50,000 a year as a bug man, was looking to quit his job and go, uh, go full time and go fast. Um, he wanted to spend time with his family, but couldn't. Uh, he couldn't working a job. Looking to complete a system, a complete system that worked. Looking for a mentor that was actually doing deals and not teaching. Right. So phase three. What's phase? What's phase three? Phase three is now you got your first check, uh, and you got one year's worth of income. Phase three now is now you're opting to quit your job. That's when you get to the point where you're at $20,000 a month um, and you hit $20,000 a month in income and now you have the ability to quit your job, okay? And you make 20,000. So he embraced the numbers game. He understood that 25 leads equals one deal. The more leads you get, the more revenue you get. So it's like digging for gold. Here's an example. So let's say for an example, you, um, you had this gold mine. Um, and in this gold mine, right, there was uh, gold <laughs> and dirt. Um, and now there was unlimited, unlimited amount of gold. And only you knew about it. So you happen to find it. You're walking through the, you know, through, you're doing a mountain hike or the, in the woods or something like that. And you found this gold mine. There's a little piece of gold. And you start digging. And you're like, holy cow, it's all this gold. Now, it's unlimited. You're the only one that knows about it. Right? and you can dig as much gold as you want, would you bring a spoon? That's the analogy. Would you bring a spoon? Or 
Would you bring a shovel? Now, the more, think about it. You got gold. Would you bring a spoon? Would you bring a shovel? Or would you bring an earth mover? What would you bring? Unlimited amount of gold. That's what we're sitting in right here in real estate right now. The more leads that you can generate, the more revenue you can make, which is amazing. So here's how it works. Leads come into the funnel, right? You got leads, contacts, appointments, right? And you got signed contracts and revenue. You have appointments over the phone, where you're talking about over the phone, or you're meeting them in person, you sign contracts and you generate revenue. The more leads that come in the top of the funnel, the more revenue you can generate. Having consistent leads dumping into the sales funnel by adding strategic marketing channels. So what's a strategic marketing channel? Google AdWords. Google AdWords is a phenomenal way to generate leads. You can actually advertise on Google. Your ad can show up um, on, on Google and someone will click the link and they will, uh, we can generate leads, right? And these are leads actually coming into the business, 9,393 leads that have come in uh, just from using Google AdWords. So how to scale focusing on the right numbers uh, certain KPIs that we focus on. Once you understand those KPIs, he learned the missing link. He learned that leads generates revenue. He understands that KPIs, the key performance indicators, um, will allow you to scale the business. Tyler 10X his income. Now, instead of just signing one contract in phase three, he was able, because he went full time now, he was able to do multiple different contracts. So imagine being like Tyler, he made millions of dollars in real estate, is making a million dollars in real estate, working for himself with all the freedom he could imagine. So look at this. Here's some wires coming into his account. 42,000, 20, 95,000, 10,000. Here's some other ones right here. 47,614. Here's a check that he got. 79,345. Here's another wire. 78,767. Here's another one right here. 20,436. Here's another one right here. We got $33,000 that came in. Here's another wire that came in, $53,000. Here's some more checks that come in uh, right there. We got $37,000 and $75,000. Those are just deals that have come in from Tyler because um, he went full time in the business. He quit his job and he was able to spend time and energy. So check out this video. Hey, everybody. This is Tyler Weitz with uh, CityLink Real Estate Solutions and the CityLink Group out of the Raleigh Durham Market in North Carolina. Summer of 2012. Uh, I'm working as a salesman for Orkin Pest Control, and I decide that I'd like something a little bit different than um, than what I'm doing uh, career-wise. And uh, I read Rich Dad Poor Dad, and uh, Robert Kiyosaki talks a lot about real estate in, in the Rich Dad Poor Dad book. So it got me interested in it. I had never heard of wholesaling, didn't understand anything about wholesaling or what it is. Um, you know, I knew people flipped houses, but more so from a fix and flip angle. And I knew people owned rental properties, and that was about the extent of my um, real estate knowledge. So I was looking into different ways to make money in real estate while I was working full time at Orkin, and I came across Sean's book on Amazon. He's uh, there's a free, he's got a free download on Amazon. So I thought free, that's that's a pretty low price. I'll download it and read it. So I read it. Um, never heard, as I mentioned, I hadn't heard of wholesaling up to that point. So the concept that the book taught kind of went over my head a little bit. I, I read it and I thought, uh, I'm not too sure what exactly he's talking about. So I almost um, deleted it off my phone. It was a uh, an ebook. I almost deleted it off my phone and moved on, but I felt like I should just read it one more time. It was an easy read, uh, I think 40 pages or something. And I thought, well, what? why not? I'll just read it one more time. And the second time I read it, it hit me like that. I, I can do this and I can be very good at this. So um, after looking that, you know, thinking that over, and I decided it was um, worth it to join. And I became a member, a student, and that set me off in the right direction and, and down the path to lead to where I'm at today. Um, and uh, what I will tell you is um, uh, it, was, it was a tremendous value to me. I mean, it was absolutely tremendous value. It, it did, I failed a lot in the beginning. You know, it took me six months to do my first deal. It was the fifth house I had under contract. The first four had fallen through. Um, but, you know, it gave me the direction. It gave me the uh, confidence I needed to start taking those first steps. 
and um, was a tremendous value to me to the point that now today we have multiple employees. Um, we have uh, we do new construction, we do fix and flips, we do rentals, we do wholesaling, uh, we do some uh, smaller development type deals. Um, haven't dabbled into commercial too much, but uh, we're going to head there. Um, you know, and a lot of the principles that I learned, I have applied to my company today, and it has allowed me to build what we have today as being one of the bigger, um, uh, you know, locally owned real estate investment companies in the Raleigh Durham market. Uh, just last month for July, we did four, we had 14 closings, uh, the bulk of which were wholesales, but there's a little bit of um, some fix and flip type stuff mixed in there. Um, and, you know, we're, we're poised for growth. Uh, we've, we've grown it and staffed it to where we can experience very explosive growth in a very controlled and manageable uh, manner, which is very important. But a lot of what I know and a lot of what I do, I still reflect back to my early days on the Flip to Freedom Academy and the things that I had learned at that point, at that point in time. Um, uh, Sean had also asked me to talk a little bit about um, my my uh, favorite marketing methods and you know I really do a combination I don't have one thing I can point at and say this is my primary source of deals because I don't believe in that I don't believe in ever putting myself in a box where my systems all rely on one thing barring a few controllable things like Podio for example but um you know my my deals come from a combination of uh, my online presence which is very strong uh, direct mail uh, to absentee owners and bandit signs um, and I keep it pretty steady between those three. You know, one month this one produces a little bit more. The next month it's this one. Uh, but I really do all three on a pretty steady basis. I very, very, very much would recommend it. Um, you know, and I'm saying that as a consumer. I don't uh, work for Sean. I don't get kickbacks of any sort. Um, just extremely grateful that I joined and I made that decision. It's changed my life. It's changed my life for my wife and my kids. You know, my wife's able to be a stay-at-home mom. And um, I'm able to have a very uh, healthy income and provide jobs for people in my local market and help my customers, uh, you know, provide solutions for people in difficult real estate situations. Um, so I love it. I'm extremely grateful I joined. I've got nothing but good things to say about it. And uh, if that's something you're thinking about doing, I would tell you to do it. Awesome story. Tyler White's in the house. Thank you so much for... Uh Sharing your story, bro. That's a, a great story. Unbelievable success. All right. Who we got next? We got Alex from Houston. Alex, full-time business owner that requires significant amount of cash to run his business with small margins. He found he was working seven days a week but never had time to take a family vacation. He feels like he traded time for his job. So he was skeptical. He purchased other quote-unquote guru, guru's courses and was let down. All they did was broad uh, overview, but not the details. Uh, he didn't have time or money and waste on BS programs. He was looking for a system that was proven. Uh, Alex was ready to rock and roll. He was reluctant, became, but became a, um, but tried the escape plan. So Alex did 16 deals his first month out of the gate. He was serious. Alex is 39 years old, first full-time business owner. Uh, mom and wife got sick and needed money for freedom business. Uh, was cash intensive and extremely time consuming. So he was looking for a business model. So what he wanted to do in phase four, part of phase four, phase one, you get your first check. Phase two, right? You get one year's worth of income. Phase three, then you quit your job and go full time like Tyler. Phase four is now we're gonna scale that business. We're gonna start hiring. We're gonna go to the next level. We're gonna scale it um, to uh, $100,000 a month in revenue. Now it's all based around this book, Traction by Gina Winkman. Traction's an amazing book, a best business book I've ever read. I highly recommend it. Um, and he talks about strategic hiring. First off, understanding your vision. Then you have a, uh, a uh, uh, basically it's an organizational chart. And in that organizational chart, you have the right people in the right seats, right? The right people in the right seats. And when you do that, right, you have people that are going to answer the phone and talk to the sellers. You have, I have a team. So my organizational chart, I have uh, people that are uh, on the phone. They're talking to sellers. They're making offers. Um, I've got people that sell properties. I got people that talk to realtors. I got people that transact the transaction. I got people that manage the books. Um, and that is all uh, done with a team of people having the right people in the right seats. Now, how we manage 
the company or the business is all by done by a Monday morning 90 minute meeting, a Monday morning 90 minute meeting. And what we do is we go through all the KPIs and the numbers. This is our scorecard. So in the scorecard, I can keep track of all the numbers in the business. It allows you to scale to the next level. Why? Because you're tracking specific numbers like how many deals you've closed, what type of revenue you got coming in, how many leads came into the business, right? And then what's your cost per lead? What's your leads per deal? What are your sales guys doing? How many offers they made? So that's critically important. Once you have a scorecard, you know where you stand and now you can look at the numbers and if you were, if you run the business by the numbers, um, then you're able to hold people accountable for what they do because everybody has a KPI they report on um, and either they perform or they don't and that gives you a really good indication if they're working or not. Um, but scorecard, I can be on a beach in Southern California or in Florida, I can look at my scorecard and I can see my entire business. And if I wanna run a Monday morning meeting, I can do it from Zoom. I've done it many times before at my beach house in California. So what we do is now we crank the business. We're getting to $100,000 a month, $200,000 a month, right? Now we're able to force savings through what's called Betterment. And you pour savings in there into Betterment. I have money that comes out every single week into a Betterment account. And it just grows looking for the right of investment. So what I do is invest in apartment syndication. Um, that's where we uh, are able to contract large apartments and then we raise capital uh, through a, a syndication process um, and uh, raise capital to purchase uh, the buildings. And then we have pro professional management teams manage the buildings um, and, uh, and be able to create long-term wealth and cash flow, which is amazing. So imagine being like Alex, he has 16 deals his first month, 131 deals his first 12 months, made over a million dollars a year in his first 12 months, working only four hours a day. Remember, he didn't have a lot of time to spend on this because he had to, uh, had some family issues. So he followed my exact process and exactly how to do it. So let's hear it from Alex and see what he has to say. Back at the end of 2015, um, I was flipping houses. I had been flipping houses for years and, uh, you know, did about five, six houses a year, high-end houses, and did pretty good with it. But <clears throat> long story short, I was in a real good comfort zone and didn't have any major aspirations at that point. I didn't know anything about wholesaling. Uh, I did invest, but I was always buying from other wholesalers. So I bought Sean Terry's course and, um, you know, I just literally did exactly what he said verbatim. Uh, I was able to do about 16 deals my first my first month, and uh, just didn't let the foot off the gas the entire year. I did 131 deals my first year wholesaling, and um, I don't want people to think that holy crap I can go out and do it. You can, because I did it, and I'm definitely not a sharp one. I just followed his system. I, I would tell anyone that's looking to buy this to just do it, go ahead and buy it, but also follow it verbatim. Don't change it. Just do it the way he teaches you and you'll be amazed at what actually ends up happening um, and God bless anyone out there that's trying to do this um, no fear baby just do it and uh, trust the system and and, and, and it, it will work all right great story from Alex thank you so much for sharing that story that is uh, that's awesome Alex I really appreciate it all right so here's the question what do all these guys and girls have in common what do they have in common what do they know that you don't know how did they learn phase one how did they learn to get a first check how did they learn to uh, get one year's worth of income how did they learn to create consistency in the business how did they learn how to uh, be able to quit your job and go full time now and create and be an entrepreneur what do you focus on what do you do how did you how do you learn how to reinvest and scale back the business see all this is education learning how to do it once you have the education in a process and a system you can follow it creates clarity if you have clarity and you can follow something that works and it's proven then you can get success and get results so what is that called that is called the escape plan and the escape plan is literally my um, entire business model uh, in a uh, platform where you have the ability to, uh, to learn online on an online platform whether it's through video audio through text you get all everything you need in the escape plan which is amazing so uh, I give you absolute control of your future easily accessible system that provides everything you need when you need it 
Um, who is this for? This is for someone who wants to make huge checks, wholesaling houses, flipping houses in record time, wants consistent paydays every single month, looking for proven system to quit their nine to five, and wants the perfect mixture between mindset, motivation, and specific knowledge. And understand it takes hard work and dedication. Now, who is this not for? It's not a get rich quick steam. It's not a done for you system. This is a business model, my business model, and I teach it to you specifically with the systems and process in place so you don't have to figure it out. All you have to do is do it, right? Unethically, unethical, someone as who is it not for unethical or who wants to take advantage of people, uh, it's a whiner with no backbone and lack of persistence. Right? So what is the escape ban? Learn the precise plan to confidently get your first check, quit your nine to five job and scale to a multi-million dollar operation. It's a seven week step-by-step -step mastery class, total immersion program. I leave no stone unturned, whether you're brand new and you're just getting started, you don't know anything about real estate, or if you've been doing deals and you wanna hone your system and go to the next level, this is for you. The escape plan, phase one, Basically, we go through how to get your first check and everything involved. How to find the seller, how to talk to the seller, how to make the offer, how to write the contract, how to pull comparable sales. You gotta know how to do that, right? You know, how to negotiate with a seller. How do you overcome objections? Um, how do you get the contract signed? Then, how do you find buyers, right? And how do you talk to a buyer? How do you negotiate with a buyer? How do you get that property on a contract with a buyer? Then, once you get your first check, now you can then focus on phase two, which is accumulating one year's worth of income, uh, which is the next phase. And, you've, uh, and you learn the process of rinsing and repeating, doing a deal a month, two deals a month, um, and then being able to get that one year's worth of in income. Phase three is how to transform from an employee to an entrepreneur and consistently make ten dollars to $20,000 a month in revenue. Um, and that's when you're going full time. That's where now you're spending time in your business. But what happens is when people do that and they pivot and they go full time, what happens is they mess up, right? They go, they, they go, holy cow, you know, they don't have a job to go to anymore. Now they have to manage their own time. Now with phase four, we learn how to scale to $100,000 a month and be able to build passive income. So the first bonus that comes with uh, the escape plan, depending on the actual plan that you pick, and I'm gonna show you that here in a second, um, is REI Automator. It's access to our software, um, and one month, one month access to REI Automator. So we're gonna waive the 897 license fee. You're gonna have access to it. Also, you get Freedom Logic. Freedom Logic is our CRM, where we manage our entire business. Um, you can pull comps in there, you can generate contracts in, in there. Um, you can text out of there. It's a calling system. You can make calls out of there. Um, you can email out of the platform. It manages your, all the KPIs, um, manages all your properties. It's all in one suite. That's what we use uh, to manage our entire business. That is Freedom Logic software to get. Uh, we waive the 797 fee and uh, it's one month access of that. Plus you get uh, bi-weekly coaching calls with me. I get on the phone every other week. Um, on Wednesdays and we go through everything about the business and answer questions too. Bonus number four is a custom covert intuitive presentation. It's an iPad presentation that you can use uh, to show sellers um, and you can kind of walk through a process. It essentially McDonaldizes the, uh, the selling process so you get to do that. Bonus number five is the bi-weekly deal or no deal. Um, that is where you're on the phone with Brandon Simmons, who's my right-hand man. So literally every week there is something you can plug into, either me or Brandon, me or Brandon. Weekly deal or no deal, you get to actually bring a deal. You get a lead from a property, you have a property, you don't really know how to uh, figure out the value on it. So what you can do is bring it to deal or no deal. Brandon will show you how to value that property. Um, and make offers on it, which is cool. You also get um, all my prized forms and scripts updated in 2020. Um, so here's everything you get a part of the escape plan. Um, you get the masterclass, seven week masterclass I go through in detail. You get the REI Automator software, the Freedom Logic software, the bi weekly deal or no deal, the bi weekly call with Sean, uh, custom covert intuitive presentation, Sean's forms and scripts. That's a 7,182 value for all that stuff. Plus, you get access to 
uh, the members only Facebook community. It's an incredible uh, community of robust. We have thousands and thousands of members in there. Uh, here's Monica's chat. Christian, uh, this is uh, one of his months, $98,900 a month for Christian. Not bad, huh? Here's Joseph at $100,000 a month. Here's Andre. It's a $3,500 check. Super excited about that. Marcus, $5,364 check. So here's everything right here. The escape plan. All you got to do is get escapeplan.com. Get escapeplan.com. What do you get? You get all uh, this information right here. Um, and it's not $29.97, not $19.97. Actually, you can do a $7 trial, $7 14-day trial. You can try it if you like it. Um, if you don't like it, you can pass. Um, but I know once you get in there, you're absolutely going to love it. Plus, as a bonus here, um, it is uh, $3.94, uh, which is two tickets to Extreme Freedom 2022 in January. You're not going to want to miss it. Plus, we have quarterly case studies. So I get on every quarter and we'll go through case studies of properties we recently closed, where we got the deals, how we closed the deals, where the lead came from, how we negotiated it. Um, I'm going to have my acquisition guys on there. We're actually going to even give you potentially, you can listen to the calls. They actually got the deal. <coughs> and uh, that's called a case study quarterly. So that's all this stuff right here. Uh, get escape plan. So what happens if you go to um, get escape plan, right? And you go to it. Where is it? If I go to get escape plan right here, if you go here, you'll see there's different plans in pricing. Uh, every plan comes with a 14 day, seven day trial. And you got the basic package right here. You get everything in the escape plan. The only thing you don't get is REI automator software, freedom logic, or the case studies. Now, if you use this one right here, which is the uh, premium version, uh, now all these get seven day trials. You can get 797 right here and you get access to REI Automate software um, or Freedom Logic, um, but not the uh, case study. So you get that. And then this is the elite package, which is 1297 um, and you get access to everything right here. So all of them get a $7 trial. Um, and you get to pick each one right here and you'll get um, either one uh, depending that you choose. So all you got to do is go to uh, get uh, extreme freedom or no, get escapeplan.com, get escapeplan.com. That's a $9,700, $9,073 value uh, if you go to get escapeplan.com. Remember, no experience needed, no credit check ever, no funding to purchase real estate, no funding reservations, no contractors, no real estate license needed, no need to meet a seller face-to-face, -face, no need to look at a property, no technical computer skills, can be done part-time, can profit very quickly, business can be done from anywhere in the world, can be successful in an up and down market, business can be scaled for unlimited income. So all you gotta do is go to getescapeplan.com, $7 free trial, uh, or $7 trial, 14 days, and uh, you can check it out. If you don't like it, you can uh, cancel, and um, obviously, if you do like it, you get to dive in and make some money with the team. And I'll see you on the next coaching call. It'll be cool. All right. So let's say here the uh, the gift right here. If you go here um, and you click one of these, you'll go to an order form. And here's the order form. And on this order form, see here, you can click. Boom. Boom. Um, and then if I go down to the bottom here, you can click here for your contract right here is your contract. Boom. All you gotta do is click of that and that will give you your free bonus for the escape plan. So, uh, that is it for me. Um, Chris, unless there's any questions, I will, uh, sign off and thank you for watching the escape plan. Go to get escapeplan.com, get escapeplan.com. Um, you don't want to miss out $7. This is something we're testing. Um, this is normally we sold this for I think like $1,000 this entire program and it sold out like crazy. Um, we're testing a new payment structure, a new payment plan for $7 14-day trial to give you the ability to get in there, use it, try it, see if you like it. Um, and I know you'll love it once you get in there and start checking it out. So hope that helps. I'll see you soon. Take care and God bless.